curtain yeah. like we need well, to make the, a call and see yeah we, what the main want to do. concern with it why you're gonna get checked is that's what all these little holes are for yeah oh guys i'm struggling today all right and you're laying on your back you keep going to me kiara i'm on my side <laughs> and i'm like no you're not you're still laying on your back Go for a walk, won't we, hun? I think it did. Uh, Might nice. pass. I had a look on the thing, there's nothing. Just about to go for a walk, guys, and it started raining. Good morning, good morning. Hi, Ricky. 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 Hi, you have so many little red cars, I don't even know which one you're talking about. No, one it's a little red racing car. Oh. Does it have any other colours on it? Uh, only red. Only red. And, and it's eyes and a mouth. Have you looked in the toy room? Oh, the, one, the eyes and the mouth. The cars, that's been gone for a long time. Yeah. I don't know where that one's gone, sugar pie. We're going to have to try to look for it. Are you looking at daddy? Look at that tooth, it's growing constantly, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's getting so big. Just look at you, you see me? I know, it's a new little thing. The tongue popping out all the time. Good morning, guys. Today is Saturday. We were literally just about to go out for a walk and it just started pouring with rain. So we're kind of just hanging for 10 minutes to see what this weather decides to do this morning. Look at it stopped, guys. Has it stopped? Nearly. Oh, we might be on. Morning, beautiful girlie. How are you today, darling? Let me bring my doll. Sure, you can bring your doll. What's that doll's name? Barbie. I think it's called Malibu Barbie. And the other one's Brooklyn Barbie, hey? So both of their names Barbie. Brooklyn Barbie and Malibu Barbie. No. Hey, Link, I found a red car. So that means she lives in Malibu and the other girl lives in Brooklyn. Is that what it is? Yes, yeah, so, so, oh. so they don't have trouble complicating their names. Oh. It's so red 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 red. so is live. that why it's Malibu and Brooklyn? Because that's where they live. Yeah. Mom, mommy, oh, I understand. it's a little big and a little little. It's a little big and a little little. This isn't the right one. Yeah. It's not it. Yeah. Oh, there's a red one. Do you want that one? That's the Iron Man one. Can I want the that? I know the one you're talking about, but we might have to get another one from the shop because that one's been gone for a long time. That was your favourite car, hey? Yeah, but it's not at the shop. It's not at the shop? Oh, look at the blue sky, Nikki. Blue sky's coming out, Dad. You guys want to go for a walk? Let's go. Let's go for a walk. I don't want to go in the tiny sprinkle. Let's go feel it. You guys want to come feel it? See if it's raining? Let's go feel it. I can't feel any. Can you guys? I can't. No? You reckon we go? Do you know what maybe we do? Maybe we throw an umbrella underneath just in case. Because look, that looks a bit scary over there. Like it could maybe rain again. It's a bit dark and gloomy. We got back from our walk, we didn't get rained on. It's so weird this morning, it was like so beautiful and sunny, then this massive rain cloud just came out of nowhere and it poured down for like 10 minutes and then completely gone. So it was beautiful and sunny the whole walk, but I wanted to come out and show you guys. All the front yard is now prepped and ready to go for the grass to be laid. The fake turf's actually gonna be getting laid on Monday, which is so exciting. I feel like the kids are gonna utilize this area so much more once it's all finally done. We've also got a skip coming to get dropped off this morning so we can finally get rid of all of the crap that's in the front of our house it's been there for way too long plan was when we cleaned everything out to go straight to the dump but when we cleaned it out it was like two days later 
everything went into lockdown so the dump hasn't been open so we've just like kept accumulating things from around the house and like with the reno and all the stuff going on outside but we haven't been able to actually get rid of it um, because the dump hasn't been open we kind of wanted to wait to get a skip as well because a skip is so much more expensive than just going to the dump but it's getting to the point now where we're just like we don't know how long the dump's going to be closed for and we think it's just going to be easier to just get rid of it all so this is how it's looking so far so all of this area outside where the cubby is is now all prepped and ready to go for the fake grass i feel like the kids are going to use the cubby so much more as well once the grass is laid because before every time they walked on this they would get like dirty feet it was like a gross dirt ground there so that's all happening monday then outside we're also getting all fake turf out here as well out here and out here on the footpath. We ummed and ahed on what to do outside in the council area, but we were like, let's just think long-term and what's gonna be the easiest maintenance. And we felt like just doing the fake grass there'd be really easy too. We've loved it over the other side of the driveway. It's been so easy. What's up? Okay, I'm coming. And yeah, this is a rubbish pile that hopefully we will finally be getting rid of. <laughs> I know, do you know how that happened? A balloon popped and it had confetti in it and now there's confetti everywhere. Balloon from mummy's birthday. That other cubby going too. Oh yeah, do you want to go? You can be... go show that. What's happening? This is going to be it. This is going to be a beautiful. This cubby is going to go as well now. So then this whole area, put the table in the middle, and then so that'll be all gone. We're about to see straight through, and I'll look at the laughy beautiful way. <laughs> yeah. So this is going to be it's a bit of a sad moment. So this cubby. When Kurt and I first moved out together, we actually built a skate, well, Kurt built a skate ramp. So this was a skate ramp, and then for Mila's first birthday, we pulled down the skate ramp and we built it into a cubby. There's actually a vlog. It's actually pretty good. There's actually a vlog. I'll see if I can find it and give you guys a little flashback. Do you remember me, like, helping you stick all that stuff so, on and painting and that? So solid. Yeah. So Kurt and I did this as a little project together for Mila's first birthday, so it's a little bit sad that it's going. It's lived its, it's, lived its life. Security's gonna have to move soon. Security will go on the fence. What are you doing, little Miss Moon? What are you doing? We just actually had a chat to um what are they what are they called? He's an or what are they called? His name's actually Jared. Yeah, I know that, but what are they called? No, it's called In Motion. No, not that, but like it's called an author they're called orthopedic, aren't they? Author author. Isn't that feet? Yeah, that's what I thought. I will. Google it. <laughs> um, you can see it when you type in in motion. Yeah. yeah it's so shit the old COVID situation at the moment. Because it's supposed to be going up. Like it, she's like a month. Late on her appointment. Orthotics. Orthotics. See, I thought it was feet too though. Like that's why I was like. But it, say, it says in motion. Orthotics. Yeah. But maybe they just do. I don't know. Because obviously the thing's not just all about. um. Hmm. Orthopedic, orthopedic. Bracing, I was right. Orthopedic bracing or custom made. But I guess ortho orthosis. But all the orthopedic that um like that's changing the shape maybe. of your feet, isn't it? Like help with the arch and that in your feet. So maybe, maybe it is the right word because changing it's, the shape of a head. You maybe it's just changing shape, yeah. not actually. It doesn't have nothing to do with feet. Just yeah. changing shape. Yeah. So um. Anyways, I've had so many questions coming through around about Regan's helmet, and yesterday. Kurt yeah. and I like we need well, to make the, a call and see. Yeah, we, what the they main want to do. concern with it, why you gotta get checked, is that's what all these little holes are for. Yeah. There every single little hole needs to be checked with depth because yeah, obviously if it's pushing too much too hard. It's you, your baby's probably gonna be shitty though if it's pushing too hard because yeah. they'll have like a headache probably. But um yeah. Yeah, so the dude's getting these made up for us at the moment, and he's going to send, send them to yeah. us so we can like test it all out. And if it's uh, not deep, like if it gets too deep, then we I don't know if we have to send the helmet, might have to adjust it, or they yeah. send us a new one. They said it depends how uh, long it goes for. He said it's it's like six months to eight months. Yeah, is when if the head hasn't changed, when you've got to re get it like rechange the helmet yeah her head shape has changed significantly yeah it's definitely like i feel like better. once Who we send them some photos to show the difference i took a photo the other day when she was in the shower and i was like whoa it's changed that much i think they need to do the x-ray to make any decision do the scan to know they do like a 3d scan yeah, of a whole to head fully know. what are you doing over here chicky babe ready oh. i'll cut it for you Link's just asked me to put coconut melon on. Weird. I want to watch TV. Yeah, he never normally really wants to watch TV, eh? He didn't have a sleep yesterday. Yeah. No. You feeling a bit tired, baby boy? You just want to watch coconut melon? Hey, you haven't watched coconut melon for ages.
bushes. Where am I the big map for the monster truck? You made a ramp. Show me. What? I'm watching. You ready? Whoa! Oh, that was a good one. Oh, was it a good one? Alright, why don't we try again? Whoa! <laughs> that was a good one, wasn't it? Here you go, darling. Great grandma bought me these ones. Great grandma, she did too. When did great grandma buy them for him? That was like a year ago. Yeah. How do you remember that great grandma got them for you, hey? I don't know. You're very clever. Very, very clever. Um, how are you, boobs? Good. You're good. Hey. <laughs> hey. Maybe we could do some cooking later? Yeah, after months. Okay, maybe we do some cooking a bit later on. Speaking of cooking, Kurt and I still, we're loving it, hey? Yeah. We're loving cooking lately. And also, it's a good task to do with the kids. The kids really like getting involved and helping. And I don't know, I feel like we're really just like enjoying doing it. Got a new something to show you guys. I've shown on my Instagram, haven't shown you guys on YouTube yet. But Kurt also discovered this. You can only get it at Woolies, you can't get it at Coles, but it's Coles Brew Espresso with almond milk. Oh my gosh, how good is it, Kurt? It's so good. It's so good. I wish you got more bottles. Because <laughs> we don't go to Woolies that often. And I'm getting so hungry. Are you hungry yet? Yeah. Getting so hungry. Would you rather work out than eat or eat than work out? Work out than eat. Work out than eat. Maybe we have a banana first then. I need like something to fuel my body before I work out. Kurt can work out on an empty stomach and it's totally fine. I feel like even if it's just like something small, like half a banana, I need something. Like, I feel weird working out with nothing in my belly. Rain coming, look over there. Yeah. There's more rain coming. More rain. More rain. Good more time to do a workout. struggling today the last like week which is struggling the kids more and things like that being at home I feel like so many of you guys will relate to this um, but we've just been like late nights every night four o'clock every morning trying to get as much done as we can while the kids are sleeping at night time and then the last three nights mr. snorehead has been snoring like crazy so yeah I don't know he just like whenever Kurt lays on his back he like puts his head back and he just snores so bad and then every time he rolls on his side he doesn't snore and they kept waking him up and I was like hun can you please lay on your side he's like I'm laying on my side when he's still lying on his back do you know you do that Kurt yeah. when you're sleeping and I ask you to lay on your side and you're laying on your back you keep going to me Kiara I'm on my side <laughs> and I'm like no you're not you're still laying on your back but you're so like because you're half asleep you so think, like you're like, no, I'm laying on my side. <laughs> yeah, last night you were getting annoyed at me and I was like, imagine how frustrated you would feel if I kept you up all night. But I said to Kurt, I was like, today is like the most tired I've felt in the longest time. So I'm struggling. I'm struggling to get this done. Oh, but I'm going to do it because I know it'll probably give me more energy and I know I'll feel better. But I like actually feel like I'm at the point now where I could probably have like a nanny nap today. A nanny nap today or a really early night tonight. I just need, yeah, something's got to give. I think between the later nights and the earlier mornings, it's catching up. I'm usually fine if I go to bed at like 8 o'clock to wake up at 4 every morning. That's totally fine. Um, but yeah, I've been going to bed at like 9.30 and some nights have been close to midnight and then waking up really early. So I think it's just kind of getting to that point where it's catching up with me. Hopefully tomorrow I am well rested. Hopefully Kurt doesn't snore tonight. I probably will, he says. I know, you go like a month or two and you don't snore at all, then all of a sudden... Maybe. Anyways, what we were saying as well is like, I feel like I haven't been resting as, uh, sleeping as well, but the last couple of days we haven't exercised. We've just done a walk. So we're like, hopefully if we do a bit of exercise, it probably, most probably will make us sleep a bit better too. <laughs> Annoying rat that smells all night. Oh my God.
Well, guys, it's a couple of hours later. I had some relaxation. I laid up here. I didn't actually nap, but I find that sometimes just like stopping and laying and just closing your eyes and listening to relaxation music and just kind of switch your mind off is all I need to like regather myself. So I had like half an hour of just like chilling while the kids napped. Then I made so much food. I was seriously so hungry this morning. I have no idea why, but I just ate probably enough for a whole football team. And now I feel great. I was so hungry and just finished doing some editing. And now the day today is honestly the weirdest day. It poured down rain the whole time the kids napped. And then the sun's pretty much out again. So I don't really know what the day is doing today. I don't think the day knows what it's doing today. It was freezing cold like an hour ago. So I'm wearing my big wee to keep me nice and warm. And then I got boiling hot, so I take my arms out. <laughs> Anyways, Riggy Girl's just woken up. I'm gonna go head down now with Kurt, see what him and Miller are up to. Oh my gosh, looks like, <gasps> hello kitty. You love sitting there, don't you? Hey. Hmm. Yeah. Are you talking to me? No. Talking, talking to kitty. Oh, nice. <laughs> How's the weather? I was just saying how like, Hot and sunny one second and raining the next. How's my wife? <laughs> <laughs> Weather's like a girl's emotions. Weather's like Kiara and she hasn't eaten enough food. <laughs> Honestly. Oh, what are you doing? You're oh. playing with Nice work. Room's hey, clean. Nice. So she can play in here for I don't know what it is, guys. Riggy keeps putting her leg like this. Mm. We've twisted it around like a million. Hi, leg, darling. Twisted it around like a million times and she keeps doing it, hey? <laughs> Ready? Let's see if she does it again. Okay, do it. Let's try and look at the map, hey? Let's have a look at the map. Let's, do you know where? Do you know where Australia is? No, where's United States? Where is China? Oh, um, where is Canada? Canada, yeah. Where's Iceland? Madagascar. Oh, you're actually right. That is Iceland. I thought that was Iceland. Ah! Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Well guys, this afternoon we're just going to be getting all ready for Father's Day. Tomorrow, tomorrow's Father's Day and it's also my mum's birthday. So we're going to be wrapping some presents, writing some cards. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys soon.